Okay, uh, on today's tutorial, we're going to make a swipeable card stack that you can shuffle. Uh, as you can see here, you can grab it, let go, or you can drag it all the way over and shuffle your stack. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I've created a card component. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's got an image. It's got um, some text, nothing crazy. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab that from our assets, cabin card, okay, and I'm going to make a stack of cards. So I will just duplicate this, and I'll just bring it over here for now, duplicate it again, bring it over here. Uh, and then just for uh, aesthetics, we're just going to change the image so that we know that the cards have been swapped. Um, so I'm just using the Unsplash plugin. And we'll just make this super easy. There's one there. I'll grab that one and we'll do that one. Okay, great. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this one all the way to the back. We're going to set this one back one. So now we've got a stack of cards. Uh, and just to make it interesting, I'm going to kind of line this one up. And we'll just go over one, two, three. And down two. Line that one up. One, two, three, down two. Uh, now, what's important for this is that these instances of your card are named properly. So if you click on this, um, they have to be named individually, otherwise, the auto animate feature will get them confused. So let's we'll name this Kevin Card One, Kevin Card Two. And not to shock anybody, cabin card three. Uh, now the nice thing about this is this is going to be a re we're going to make this a reusable component, so you can drop it in anywhere in your app or web page, and you don't have to make a ton of screens uh, to do a simple animation. So we'll select all of these and create component, and then we'll name this card stack. I think I already know that, so we'll call this one tutorial. All right, now you've got a component that's got three cards in a stack. Pretty easy stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a variant of that. All right. Normally I would say like name all your variants, but um, because these are gonna be animation variants, I think just having them go up numerically as in variant two uh, should be just fine. So. What we're going to do on the second variant is we want to make an uh, animation keyframe, so to speak, of dragging the card over. So I'm going to take the top card, I'm going to give it a bit of an angle, I'm going to move it, you can move it as far over as you like, I'm going to only move it, you know, about that far. Okay, pretty easy, that's all you need to do. Uh, so we're going to take this variant, click on this variant, and then click the little plus symbol. We'll add the next one, and it copies the state that it's in. So for this one, we will click our card and then straighten it back up. So this will be coming back into the deck behind. So what we'll do is we'll line it up with the last card that's in there, and we'll send it to the back. I'm just hitting the bracket key to do that. And then we'll grab these first two cards, and we will go up two over three. And now, that first card is at the back and the next cards are ready to go. So if you want to do it to just for a prototype to say like, Hey, you know, this is how it would work. Then at this point, you're pretty much done. If you want to do this for the whole stack of cards, then you can just repeat this whole process all the way down. Uh, skip ahead if you don't want to do this, but we're going to do it for, you know, for fun. So we'll grab the next one again, Add another variant. We're going to take this card, turn it, slide it over, select our variant, plus, take that, straighten it back up, line it up with the bottom card, send it to the back, pick the next two cards, up two, over three. And then lastly, we'll take this one, Add one more variant. 
slide our card over, select the variant, duplicate it, straighten, line up, send to back, select the top two cards, one, two. Now you could argue you could probably just bring that back. You may not need we may not need this last frame. Uh, but we might. Leave in the comments if you got a better way to do this. We're gonna leave it here. Um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now for the magic. You've got all your states. So what you want to do is you want to click on the top card, go to prototype. You can add an interaction or you can use the handle. I'm going to use the handle. Drag it down to the next frame. And we're going to change this to on drag. Uh, it's going to change the property to variant 2. Smart animate. 300 is good enough for me. Now the trick is on this next one, we're going to click the variant. Not the card, the variant. And you're going to add an interaction. That interaction is going to be after delay. Uh, you can't put 0, so we'll set it to... 10 milliseconds. It's going to go to change to run to so variant three. And we want to do smart animate. Okay. Right on. Now from there, we will, if you want to go back, you can click on this bottom one and drag the handle all the way to the top one. Make sure it says on drag. All that's good. And that'll actually let you shuffle from the back card back to the front of the deck. Uh, doing this over and over might screw us up. I just thought of this now, so we'll see how it goes. So then on this one, you want to grab your card, drag your handle down make it a drag event smart animate that's all good grab your variant you can take the handle drag it down to this one and it's going to be after delay of 10 milliseconds smart animate so we're in good shape there uh, so now we're here so this one grab your card drag it to the next variant on drag and then click this one, grab your variant handle, drag it to that one. And after delay of 10 seconds, it's gonna go there. And then this may not make sense, but what we'll do is we'll take this one and I'm actually gonna grab this variant handle and drag it to the very beginning. And I'm gonna do an after delay of 10 and this one can just be instant because it should all line up. Uh, now notice I didn't do the back cards for any of the others. I mean, we can uh, and see how it works. But let's let's test this out first and come back to it. So now that you've got your component, you can create a frame. So iPhone 13. All right, go in here, grab your card stack tutorial component. Drop it in, hit the old preview button. And now when you drag this, it animates over, let go, and it switches. You can see you can drag that card back to the front. And now you should be able to drag this card. And then this one. And then this one. And you now have a perpetually shuffling deck. Uh, in your prototype. Um, there you go. And now this is a component, so you can drop this on any page or any uh, screen of your app, and you don't have to create a bunch of different frames uh, within your app to show you know, how this would function. So it's nice because it's versatile. Um, now we can end it here, or we can quickly go back and just see if we can make so we got this card, go to the front. We'll see if we can make the next card go back. So remember, we'll just click that, drag our handle back to that one, on drag. Let's 
Smart Animate. And then this one. This one might be tricky because we have it go to the front. So we'll just leave that and test this and, and, and see if this works. So we can do that. We can drag it to the front. We'll go to that one. We'll go to that one. Can I drag that one back? There you go. So now you have a deck that you can shuffle forwards and backwards in Figma as a component. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for watching, listening. Uh, subscribe. Hit the like buttons, all that YouTube stuff. Uh, and then we'll see you at the next tutorial. And don't forget to check out uh, my other channel, Muttering Pines, where my friends and I do outdoor stuff. Really dumb. Thanks for listening.